this we are going to see the vector interrupts in 8085 generally there are five vector interrupts the first one is uh, uh, that is intr and trap or 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 so intr is any extend device that wants to disturb then the intr line go high which in turn will be uh, it will get the reply from the microprocessor called inta low so these two are handshaking signals okay then trap trap is uh, non mosquable when it occurs immediately the microprocessor has to be encrypted then rst 7.5 6.5 5.5 these are all uh, non uh, there is a uh, mosquable interrupts and uh, these are all the locations present where it will find what it has to do will be written in this service routine these are all the locations of the service routines and the priority is this has the trap has the highest priority then 7.5 6.5 5.5 and then finally intr now if you see this diagram it will show give a clear idea about how they are connected see here if you see that rst 7.5 uh here rst 7.5 interrupt uh, this is connected to that and gate and then this is a memory location vector this is kind of when an rst 7.5 occurs it goes to this memory locations same way 6.5 5.5 and all whereas if you see the trap it directly connected to this memory location whereas here uh, these are all connected through some device so where you can mask this so for example if you put uh, one assume if you put one for this uh, in this logic then this will be disabled if you give one then because of this bar uh, that is the bubble zero goes there which means the result of the and gate will be zero so this particular portion uh, it will not go there this uh, vector is uh, this rsc 7.5 is blocked from occurring okay it can be temporarily masked that is the meaning of that so when you give one here it will become zero that is bubble uh, due to this bubble zero enters in the and gate and the output also zero so it will not reach this it will not go to this vector location that means you can mask whereas here there is no device like that so directly it can go and execute then we have intr now vector uh, how to set uh, this vector interrupts what is the logic behind that we have exclusive statement called sim and rim sim is set interrupt mask and rim is read the interrupt mask so you can set an interrupt mask and you can read what is in the interrupt uh, flip flops by using these two statements so let us see first the sim instruction so these are maskable interrupts and can be enabled under program control so through coding you can change it with two instruction one is ei and sim set interrupt mask so we know there are eight bits so in those eight bits these are all the positions for those eight bits so d0 is responsible for m5.5 so when you put this data in the accumulator and you can send that to microprocessor the microprocessor and execute the sim instruction the microprocessor will take always information when you execute a sim from uh, from the accumulator only so this when you you have to place appropriate data in the accumulator and execute a sim so when you write the sim the microprocessor will take information from the accumulator and the respective interrupts will be set or reset so what are all the positions for in order for the you have to set in the accumulator for the respective interrupts to be masked or unmasked if you take the d0 0 12 these are all for rst see here this is 7.5 rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 why it is given m because they are all maskable so what is maskable when you put this as zero at any point any interrupt can disturb okay that is it is allowed to disturb when you give one just now we have seen in the previous video when you put one 
it will be due to the bubble it will be converted into zero so that the and gate output also will be zero so that the particular vector interrupt will not be accessed that the interrupt will not take place that is you can prevent that interrupt to take place so one is if you give one here this will not allow the particular interrupt to take place. even if the interrupt comes the particular device comes and disturb here it will not allow that is what one is for mass zero means it can be disturbed okay that's the meaning then the msc mask set enable so here if the zero if here it, you put zero then whatever is occurring there it will be dis, it will be ignored even if here it is zero and an interrupt takes place it will not be allowed to take place if you put zero here it should be enabled it means one there must be one then only whatever you give here has some meaning then uh, mask is allowed interrupt mask is allowed here if you place one here then r 7.5 so whatever it is it, it can overwrite m 7.5 uh, if you put zero here and here one then it will not be allowed even if here you put zero which means uh, it can be allowed to the mask mask for rsc 7.5 is allowed so it can be prevented but when you give here zero then even if you put one that is uh, you don't allow the interrupt to occur uh, here if you put one, uh, zero then it will be allowed so reset rsc 7.5 if one rsc 7.5 flip is reset off so this has more priority than this so whatever is present here that will have the effect than this okay then here it is ignored whatever is placed in this uh, bit it is ignored then these two are for this is mainly for serial output data and this is for serial output data okay sde this is a large data large now uh, we'll see how it works set the interrupt mask so that rst 5.5 is enabled rst 6.5 is masked and rsc 7.5 is enabled so you are going to enable 5.5 and 7.5 and 6.5 has to be masked so if you see that see here this is enabled and this is masked which means any uh, rsc if you execute rsc 6.5 it should not be disturbed it should not disturb the microprocessor time being at least so you put a one and then here zero zero you put because we want that to be enabled then msc also must be one for this to have effect okay so this has to be if here it is zero even if you enable this any uh, rs 6.5 5.5 7 will not be allowed to do that they will be masked so if you put one here then only it will be allowed if you put zero here whatever is occurring they will be masked okay they will not be allowed to take place so this must be enabled that by placing one here then r 7.5 since we are making it as enable here also we put zero then whatever it is here we just enter zero it has doesn't have any meaning now how to do this programmatically first enable the interrupt that will be the first statement uh, that will be the statement then mba a 0 a so what is 0 a if you see this this is 0 and this is a that is what we are placing it in the accumulator so this value we have to place it in the accumulator then we execute the statement called in second called sim now it will make the rst for any if after executing this if any rst 5.5 takes place or rst 7.5 takes place now it will microprocessor allow us to allow it to take place so that is what we have explained here then another example set the interrupt mask so that rst 5.5 is enabled and 6.5 is mask and rsc 7.5 is enabled so if you see that this is enabled and uh, this is masked i think the same what is it this is the eight let's see all are enabled actually here all are enabled uh, I think this is a mistake then here. It is not masked. 6.5 is also enabled. So all are enabled. That is the meaning of this. Okay. So which means all are enabled means 0, 0, 0. Then here we have to make one. 
then this is also zero all these are zero so enable into mvia 08 so if you see that this is zero and this is eight equal so then sim exit the sim now another one reset the input rsc 7.5 so what you have to do you have to make this as one so whatever it is even if here you make it as zero no uh, here if you even if you make it as zero it doesn't have any effect because here you have masked so that's what we have done here then msc must be one so you can move mbia 18 this is one and this is eight so one eight and execute the inception sim the next one is we have set the value in the accumulator and we have executed the set into mask now how to read the uh, masking of the interrupts for that we have exclusive inception called read interrupt mask so what is the general syntax of that just like a uh, sim here a rim has another structure here the first as is m5 this is the first bit is for uh, um, rsc 5.5 6.5 and 7.5 and this is ie this interrupt enable flag here again like in the previous one we have this to be one in order for the interrupt to be enabled here also we have that so it should be made one for that to be enabled and here we have similar to that we have uh, four five six uh, interrupt enable that is pending interrupts if any interrupt is pending that will be indicated so for example while occurrence of this uh, m5.5 this may take uh, 6.5 may interrupt so if it is interrupt then one will be there we can say that by the by uh, by observing these three bits we can say that which interrupt is pending after executing these interrupts which is pending and that can be taken care of let us see an example assuming the microprocessor is completing an rsc 7.5 interrupt request check to see if rsc 6.5 is pending you would like to know whether 6.5 is pending if it is pending enable the rsc 6.5 without affecting any other input that is the problem statement we will see how it is done first we have to read by using rim after reading then we move the value in the accumulator to b register then we do ani 20h what is 20h that is 0, 0, 1, 0, then all four zeros. So 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. I want to read only the find out whether 6.5 is pending or not. So in that case, what we have to do, we have to add uh, the accumulator with the particular bit. So which means 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So all the other things are masked and we check only the respective position of I 6.5. So we do the AND operation. Then if it is jump or no zero, if it is not zero, okay, uh, if it is zero means there is no pending. But if it is not zero means it has a value one. So now what you have to do? You have to move here. So now what we have to do? Enable the RST6. If it is pending, enable RST6.5 without affecting any other input, which means we have to make this to be uh, must be one zero so that now jump on no zero let us assume that pending is there now we come here move the value of b to a again so the content of that uh, value original value is because due to this the accumulator is affected with that only we have checked so what we do is but the original value is present in b so we replace the accumulator with that value then and immediately 0d so what is 0d this enables rst 6.5 by setting d1 equal to 0 so this is responsible for uh, setting the value uh, rst 6.5 then after doing that ori enable the sim by setting d3 equal to 1 0, 08 0, 08 is nothing but what it is here 0, 0, 0, 0008. You set this value. That is MSC. This uh, common enable flip flop enable that you are making it to be enabled. So that is what here we are doing. Then you execute sim. So that now this value will be read from the accumulator. That will be executed and jump to the service routine responsible for RSC 6.5. Suppose zero is there. That is there is no pending. Okay if it is pending only we go here if it is no pending then enable interrupt and return to the main program so
So it is no bending, it returns to the main program. So the insertion rim checks for the whatever I have said, that is what I explained here. The insertion rim checks for a pending interval. Insertion ANA20 masks all the bits except B5, which is nothing but this. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five, this. So to check the pending RSC 6.5, if D5 equal to zero, the program control is transferred to the main program because there is no pending. Whereas if D5 equal to one, which indicate that RSC 6.5 is pending, instruction ANA 0DH sets the D1 equal to zero, which is nothing but here, D1. This is made to zero. So that is what we are doing here in section and what I said D3 equal to zero. This is necessary for SIM to be effective and in section SIM enables the RSC 6.5 without affecting any other input. That is the thing here without affecting any other input. So the jump in section stands for the program to the service routine written for RST 7.5. So this is how uh, using the RIM and SIM we can uh, check what are all the interrupts are pending and we can enable and disable the respective the bits responsible for the respective interrupts.